Hey everyone. By 2040, it is expected that out of all the vehicles on road in India, 33% of those vehicles are going to be electric vehicles. Now, for electric vehicles to manufacture them, the major cost is the batteries. And the batteries can cost up to 30 to 40% of the entire electric vehicle cost. And today I was looking at this companies, a few companies in this sector, which manufactures batteries, and I found them extremely cheap. And I feel there's a huge potential in the uh, in these two companies which manufacture batteries. And that's what we're going to look at today. And I feel they have made a major bottom and they can head higher from here. But before that, as always, we're going to start off with the Nifty Outlook. And then I'm going to discuss both these companies and I'm going to do a complete fundamental analysis looking at a lot of parameters and also going to look at technicals. So let's start off with the Nifty Outlook and let's see what Nifty has done in the past week. So I have the weekly charts of Nifty in front of me. And if you see Nifty actually has crossed that major 18,000, 18,100 levels that we discussed last week. Now, this was a very major resistance, which is that line over there. And we have crossed that level and closed this week above the 18,100 levels means a lot for Nifty and for the entire bulls in the markets going forward. Now, we also completed a 13 months consolidation. Now, remember, if you consider the top of October 2021 or April 2021, since then, we have been going sideways. We've had from the major bottom and now we are probably breaking out from the 13 months consolidation and we are probably heading higher from here, which means we are going to see a new all time high very soon, uh, probably in the next few couple of months or so. And I'm expecting if we to head towards the middle of this channel resistance and that that would be around 21,000 levels. So that's my Nifty outlook on the weekly charts. I'm just going to zoom into this area here and I'm just going to show you what Nifty is doing on the daily charts. Now, on the daily charts, we've been looking at this channel that I have here since quite some time now. Uh, in fact, we've been discussing that this is a probably a reversal zone that we had here. We had inside bound weekly charts and now we are trending a beautiful channel here. This is a nice small channel, but a very meaningful channel because if you break this channel, then we're going to see some short term consolidation or some short term downtrend before we eventually hit higher. So for me, the short term support is 18,000 levels. So if you see the lows of Thursday is around 18,000 and that 18,000 is a very significant zone. And if we kind of break that zone, then we're probably going to kind of correct it a little bit. But overall, the trend remains up for me. And until then, you can buy stocks and you can make some decent gains from these stocks. So that's the Nifty Outlook. And I'm sure you're waiting for the comparison between the two stocks that I mentioned today. And the two stocks we're going to discuss today is Amararaja Batteries and Excited Industries. Now, I did post about these stocks a few months back, I think probably four to five months back, uh, probably that they're near long term channels. And Remember, there has a huge potential, both these companies, if they can contribute significantly to the uh, electric vehicle batteries, which is the lithium ion batteries, then there's a huge potential for these companies going forward. Also, Excel Industries has recently uh, you know, sold off its uh, insurance business, and that means that they have pure focus only on the battery business and they can do very well going forward. Okay, but don't get carried away with that point because I'm going to do a detailed comparison on the fundamentals, starting with the companies itself. Now, both these companies are into the battery manufacturing business and it's kind of a duopoly in India where these two companies literally dominate the entire market apart from a few other manufacturers in India, right? So they are kind of a mid-cap company. It has around 9,000 crores market cap. Uh, Excel also has 14,000 crore market cap. So almost the same levels, not very uh, huge difference amongst them. And both are trading at a decent PE, 16 and 20 PE. ROC uh, for Amaraj is much better than Excel Industries. ROC is 15 in Amaraj and we have 10% ROC in Excel. Now, the ROE seems pretty high in Excel Industries, but that's with the one-time uh, money that they've got uh, in the last quarter or the last the financial year, and that's why the ROE is pretty high, but otherwise the ROE is almost kind of same, right? Now, promoters hold a higher share in Excel Industries than in Amararaja. Overall, sales growth has been pretty high in Amararaja. We have seen a very good 8.5% CAGR in the last years of sales, whereas Excel Industry has not been doing that great in terms of the sales. Now, let's take a deeper look at the sales and see what these two companies have done in the last five years. Now, I have taken these reports or the snapshots from Equity Master. It's a very good website for you to understand, compare different companies and see what the companies do, especially if they are from the same segment and if you're looking for companies which are doing well. Okay, If you see Excite here in 2018, they had 125,000 uh, rupees in million sales and 2022, they have almost a similar kind of sales. So net to net, Excite hasn't really grown its sales in the last five years, whereas Amaraja has grown its sales significantly. Right, it has gone up from 58,000 to almost 86,000 uh, uh, rupees in million sales, which is a very significant jump in the sales in the last five years. So, which shows that Amaraja has been able to manage this downtrend in the market or the uh, drop in sales because of COVID 
um, and Amaraj has actually done significantly well. Also, if you look at the, just the growth year on growth, uh, so this year in 2021 is where Excite lost its track and they have not done well since then. Probably they have picked up again, but can they outperform Amaraja? Maybe yes, maybe no. That's only markets can tell or the companies can tell. But for now, let's keep one mind, one fact in mind that Amaraja has been doing exceedingly well in terms of the sales growth. Okay, let's take a look at the profit margins. Now, operating profit margins are very, very important, especially these kind of companies, uh, as and when their sales grow, they can have huge operational efficiencies uh, kicking in and they, that might improve the overall operating margins. Now. Uh, Amaraj, if you see, we've had some really high operating margins here, XM 2022, uh, whereas Excite has a low operating margin, right? So again, comparatively, operationally, Amaraj has done better, but don't forget, uh, now Excite also might do well, given that it sold off its, uh, you know, the insurance business uh, to HGFC, right? Now, taking a look at the return on equity, I already showed you before, but just taking a look at those numbers, uh, Excite hasn't done really well. It has been dropping, whereas Amaraja also has been kind of stagnating. So overall, again, Amaraja has done much better than Excite. Now, taking a look, the, looking at the price to book value for Excite and Amaraja. So the price to book value of Excite stands at 1.4 times uh, compared to its 10-year average of 3.4, which is really, really low, right, at the current market price. Whereas for Amaraja, it's around 2.1, whereas 10-year average was around 5, right? Now, when you look at both these companies, both are definitely undervalued compared to the historical averages, right? Now, that could be because of multiple reasons, because of the downturn, uh, because of the slowness in sales we had in the auto industry. Uh, but keeping all this aside, the underlying conclusion that I'm making today is both these companies have probably made a bottom, they are available cheap valuations, and they might do well going forward, okay? So taking a look at the technicals now. Now, technicals are very important because when you club, when you find such cheap companies, you can also try to find certain value points or certain points in technical analysis where you can find points of low risk and you can invest a significant amount of your capital, 5 to 10% of your capital and ensure that gives good returns for you. Okay, now I have the monthly chart of Amaraja batteries in front of me. And here, this company has been trending in a long-term channel since 2000 levels and this is a beautiful long-term uptrend. Now remember, since 2014 odd levels, right, we have not done much in terms of price appreciation in Amar Raja. Now, which means there's a lot of potential for the stock. We've done almost eight year consolidation in terms of price and we have probably formed a bottom around this lows, um, you know, COVID lows. We kind of dropped all the way to the COVID lows and kind of reversed. Now, this is a significant bottom for me. And if you kind of break this bottom, then I would probably exit the stock for now and try to come back again if it retains or if it shows again signs of bullishness. Okay, so volumes this month, we are just completed, we are in the first week of November, but already the volumes have been looking very significant because of the excellent results it posted and we had a huge gap up on Friday. But for me, this stock needs to take out levels of 1000 or 1100 in order to form a major long term uptrend. For now, yes, we made a bottom, but is the stock an uptrend yet? Not yet. We are still might consolidate for next few months, probably next year or so. But eventually, once we take a 1000, then we are heading into much higher levels. Okay, now. Just zooming in around this area that I've shown you here, uh, this downtrend. And this is a weekly chart. And here, if you see, we had a strong downtrend in Amaraja in the last uh, one and a half years, two, two years. And since that uh, wick or doji that we formed, we've had this nice consolidation and we've had this massive move on Friday or last week with some beautiful volumes uh, coming in in Amaraja batteries. So we've broken out from the downward sloping trend line, finally on Friday with a massive gap up and volumes. And that shows that this downtrend is almost complete and we might probably head higher from here, which means you can buy the stock at current market price, which is around 570 levels, keep a stop loss of around 480, which is around 15.8% or 16%. Now, if you find that too deep, then wait for a consolidation and then buy again when there's a small stop loss. Now, that's pretty straightforward and you can do that as well. And we're looking for targets of 1000, which is the previous all time highs. And that would be a significant resistance. But if you take that out, then we're going to see much higher targets from there. So overall, this is a beautiful setup in Amaraja, given that the entire industry, uh, you know, is moving towards electric vehicles. And given that we are going moving to electric vehicles in the next 10, 20 years, this is an amazing setup. Don't forget the fundamentals also are pretty good. Now, that's from a perspective of technicals for Amaraja batteries. Now, before we jump into the next stock, which is Excel Industries, if you like my analysis till now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Okay, so Excel Industries, uh, you know, also is looking very good on the technical charts. Um, so we've also had this major resistance over here. Now, this is not a perfect channel in my opinion because I've just connected this point to here, assuming that this stock will respect this trend line over here. But for me, 
that point over there uh, also is little you know because i do not have perfect touch points i always prefer perfect touch points but for me overall this line over here gives me confidence that we will not break the support line we might go and break the channel but we should not break this upward sloping trend line over here now if we do not break that then the stock also is looking very good for a major uptrend uh, and this is a major support major resistance zones around these levels and we might probably break it also and head into a long term uptrend from here now that's on the monthly charts Zooming into this zone over here, into the weekly charts or daily charts here. Daily charts also looks, or this is a weekly chart, and uh, here the weekly charts also looks good. Uh, if you see, we're kind of forming a rectangle consolidation over here, a beautiful long-term, uh, almost two-year-old rectangle consolidation. This was the COVID lows. We kind of retested the zone to COVID lows. That was a major support zone, and now we are heading again. Now we have broken this trend line uh, on Friday. Uh, this downward sloping trend line. And with volumes and uh, probably the impact of uh, Amaraj is also dubbing off into Excite and we might head quickly towards levels of 210 but if we take out these levels of 210 then we are entering a new long-term uptrend in Amaraj in Excite Industries okay so that means you can buy the stock at current market price um, I'm going to keep a stop loss of 150 which is this low around here which is around 14 percent uh, slightly lesser than Amaraj's risk and we are looking for targets of 290, which is this previous um, highs over here. It's also this rectangle uh, length or the length of the rectangle factor is the target that I've set, which is around 290 levels. And we're looking um, at four times, four and a half times the risk that we're taking here. Okay. So these are the two stocks that I want to discuss today. They look excellent to me, uh, especially after looking at the charts. Uh, I'm convinced that this stock is going to head higher from here. So I'll leave you here. If you do like this video, do let me know in the comments. Uh, and if you have invested in these stocks, also let me know in the comments on your rationale. It'll help me understand, uh, get a better perspective of the battery industry on these two stocks as well. So that's it for today. I'll leave you here. Take care, stay safe and trade safe. Until I see you in another video. Bye-bye.